to the mother about her son, the teacher, and the daycare. When most his age are leaving class with stickers and coloring sheets, this two-year-old came home with something entirely different. He had adult-sized fingernail marks underneath both of his arms. Bruises and red marks on his shoulders, arms, and sides. To just do that, I can't even imagine how hard you would have to squeeze for that to happen. Chelsea Yonke says her toddler came home at the beginning of the school year, scared to go back the next day. After he told her he was pinched and grabbed by his teacher at Sylvan Hills United Methodist's Early Learning Center. Once I saw the marks and I asked him what happened, and he had the same story again of she pinched me. Yonke asked the daycare's director to move him classes, which she says didn't happen until her son came home a second time, crying with new marks. He told me because he wouldn't stay on his mat, and then the second time was because he needed to go to the bathroom, and he wouldn't stay on his mat. She reported it to authorities, and Sherwood police launched an investigation, two months later arresting Kimberly Havniar, the toddler's teacher. It is absolutely heartbreaking to know that your child is being hurt and to know that he's probably not the only one. Sylvan Hills United Methodist sent me the following statement. Reading in part, we have relied heavily on DHS and law enforcement to conduct their investigation and we are being completely cooperative. Find a different job if you don't want to work with kids and they frustrate you that badly. The boy's mother says they have found a new daycare. A spokesperson for DHS tells us the facility is under investigation for additional child abuse allegations involving a different employee. Of course, we will continue to follow the story.